Welcome back, Real Chip TV, Bird's Eye Breakdown, Week 7, Sunday Night Football. We're just coming off that Monday night game against the New York Giants. So this is going to be our second primetime game in a row, third of the season already. Only in Week 7, there are three primetime games. I guess people want to see us play. I mean, we're, we're ballers, and people want to see us play. So, last year, we played Carolina, and Carolina looked like the worst football team on the planet. And once again, I was real drunk at that game, but all I remember is just so scoring touchdowns left and right. It was just so, it was so bad. Like they, they just, they just looked horrible. Like, well, you Mark remember Sanchez. that game? Mark Sanchez. Sanchez. I was there too. Yep. Um, it was a Monday nighter. Uh, yeah, all I remember is Sanchez um, eating cheese fries after the game. You can get the cheese. You know, and yeah. Pats and, and the whole city loved him. And uh, obviously he was up and down. But yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, then I clearly remember uh, the Carolina Panthers making the playoffs and winning a playoff game yeah. as well. So that was disappointing. Yeah, we were clearly a better team. The NFC South champs, just the worst division of football, semi-pro, Flint, Michigan, <laughs> Mega Bowl to go with the semi-pro <laughs> reference. I mean, oh my God, that division was horrible last year. But either way, back-to-back -back champs. And I, Ron Rivera, um, his his record as the head coach for the Carolina Panthers, 32, 31, and 1. So they had that 2013, they won 12 and 4. Other than that, they've been pretty they, average. Yeah, they've been, they've, been per, they've been pretty average. So, um, you know, what do you think? I mean, the big story really for Carolina every year has been Cam Newton. So it's all going to come down to him. I mean, he signed that big contract. Do you think he deserved that big contract? I think he did. I think that's the market for the quarterbacks in today's NFL. And yeah. I mean, the kid can play. He, he's he's come right into the NFL and from the from the get go has been an absolute physical phenom. He's been a leader. He's been the guy that's made that team somewhat relevant. Again. Yeah. So um, I do think he deserved it. However, I don't think he's you know. I mean, look what we did to him last year. Yeah. Not after him. We, we, we disrupted him. We just yeah. killed that team. So. Yeah. I think. I think I think the scheme we have for the book that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I just I really like the idea. Not that I ever have, but you know I can dream. So what did I, what did keys to the game for the Eagles? They just you know you're gonna look a lot at last year's game. What did we do well? Special teams was huge. Um, getting after Cam Newton, like I yeah. said, um, Brandon Graham. I remember I just actually posted a picture on uh, a, a little mini video on uh, Instagram. Um, Brandon Graham from that game. He hook off around the um, around the left tackle and just chase Cam down, wrapped him up perfect, got him down. So that's huge. People yeah. talk about it um, against Big Ben Roethlisberger and Cam Newton as well. When you get your hands on him, you got to take him down because yeah. you really never know if he's going to escape and then the secondary is all, all discombobulated. And yeah. You have to get that guy on the ground when you get your hands on him, wrap him up, take him down, disrupt him. And I think we'll be just fine. They won't want to do best. Yeah, I feel like the longer the play goes, the better it is for Cam Newton. Exactly. Like, he's yep. just, you know, he can he's, he can improv like no other when you're that fast. I mean, of, course, of course he can. I mean, I think the really that they have to do is just make him a pocket pass, you know, with these, you know, with these fast quarterbacks. Yeah, like Griffin, you just got to... You just gotta keep them in the pocket. Um, what about the Panthers? What do they gotta do? Cam Newton, just gonna need that. They need Cam Newton. Mm -hmm. They need him to be super Cam. Yeah. Um, they need him to just take that Carolina crowd and, and show them why they gave him that big hundred million dollar contract. All the guy, all the fans sitting in those seats need to see what the money's going toward. Yeah. And uh, I think um, they also need a, a big guy to step up on defense. Obviously, they have. Shaq Thompson, who they drafted in the first round. They have Thomas Davis, stud that linebacker, and they have Luke Keekley, who I think the best linebacker in the NFL. Um, and then they have some good guys on that defensive front line. So they, they need that front unit to, to stop that run. They, they're probably the toughest, other than the Jets, that's probably out of the first seven games up to the bye. Um, that's that's two of the two best run defenses of the Jets and the Panthers. So the Eagles have to stay in that mindset of not getting looking forward to the bye and, and focusing. Um, and the Panthers have to beat the Eagles into that. Hey, you guys are going to your bye week next week. Let's uh, you know, let's slip up a little bit. Mm -hmm. They yeah. need they need some, some secondary, uh, a, a little bit of their second. Uh, Carolina secondary has to step up um, and make some plays too. So, what's your final prediction? Do the Eagles slip up? I think the Eagles um, do a great job. I think they're going to um, really beat the Carolina linebackers into you know, committing to that run. They're going to mm -hmm. say, hey, you guys are you know the whole talk of this team. Well, let's let's see it. Now. Let's see you guys stop our run. 
And I think once that starts happening, you're going to see, you know, holes open up. And, and I, I'm going to say the Eagles win 27 to... Say 27 23. Carolina makes it close. They're, they're a good team to make a play. And I don't know if they'll feel inspired and they'll go after it, but I think the Eagles are going to get it. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not taking the Eagles in this one. I got the Eagles 6 and 0 from this point, but I just feel feel like it's going to be one of those games where I'm watching it and just like, man, I was like, how cool would it be if we were 7 0 going into the bye week? Yeah. And I just don't. I just don't see that happening. I think you know. I think Cam Newton does have a big game, and I think that the Eagles are going to be focused on more so getting to the bye week with that you know seven and zero record and feeling really good about themselves, and maybe overlooking this one. So I do have the do have the Eagles losing. As much as it pains me to say, I do have them losing this game. Um, any, anything else you got on this? I just hope they're not overlooking it. I hope yeah. Trip Kelly, you know, uh, really prepares them, and I think he does a great job of that. So uh, mm -hmm. again, all these games that either one of us are picking to lose, when yeah. they can go. Some of the games can go either way, you know. But generally, six and one, seven and zero oh, yeah. would be great. Even yeah. five and two, I'd be pretty happy with. So um, I will say this though: when they come out of that bye week, who we playing after that bye week? It doesn't. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter who we're playing because whoever playing after that bye week, we're gonna bring it. Yep. So that's gonna wrap it up. Week 7, Bird's Eye Breakdown, Real Shift TV. Thanks for hanging out.